Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your boy, Abu Amir, host of Unveil with Abu Amir, checking in with you guys. Man, so check this out. If you've been thinking about making a podcast or got interest in trying to make a podcast, then you should try Anchor. It's free. There's creation tools that help and allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Also, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on big music platforms such as Spotify and Apple Podcasts, many more. And you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need in one place to make a podcast. So, if you ain't done it already while I've been running my mouth, then go download the free Anchor app, or go to anchor.fm to get started. That's what's up. The motherfucking sun come up sometimes. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all do, but all y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all sleep right now. Dreaming about shit you'll never have. Dreaming about shit you can never achieve. Cause you sleep. Sleep about a bunch of shit. I'm just saying though. Say what you just said again. I said that men don't know how to accept love when it's given to them or even receive it or give it back to the person. Men, I'll say this. You got a point. She said, men don't know how to accept love when it's given to them. Genuine love. I say little boys don't know how to. Because a real man, he know how to recognize it and accept it. And reciprocate it. But little boys can't. Right or wrong. Right. I mean, you ain't got to agree with me. I mean, can't either, though. Some men ain't ready to check this out. But then some men are so quick to say they're tired of the fake love. And they want real love. And when they get the real love, they run back to the fake love. What's the point of you saying you want real love if you're going to continue to go back to the fake love that you didn't want? See, and I'm not disagreeing with none that y'all saying, but this is my thing. See, I think y'all misconstruing manhood with age. Because 40, 30, 40, and 50 don't necessarily make you a man. See, with that title comes responsibility, right? Right. Same way with womanhood. Motherhood, being a daughter, being an auntie. With every title comes responsibility, right or wrong? Right. Right. Yeah. So, you know, so just because the niggas up there in age don't necessarily make them men. You feel me? Especially, especially because you got some grown motherfuckers out there right now who got a woman. And is that woman whole grown ass child? But that woman whole grown child. You see what I'm saying? She take care of him. She washes clothes. She she cook for him. She her whole child. But nonetheless, she loves his dirty drawers. What do you think? Can be you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't. If I give it, I want it back. My point exactly. If I show you something different, you show me something different. Yep. Mm-hmm. If I put in the footwork, why you can't put in the footwork? If you really want it. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's the question. Do they really want it? That's what I just kind of realized. I think they get. I think they get satisfied and complacent when they got a woman and mama wrapped in one. You see, a lot of times, y'all sisters don't be looking at the fact that it's a reason why mom put that nigga out and he can't come back. The flags be there already. But, you know, our hard streams make us blind sometimes, though. And when we when we desire something, we go out there with blinders on, too. Head long. Especially if we got a strong desire for it. And, and damn near nothing going to deter us from it. You see what I'm saying? If we only apply those things to the goals that we want to achieve in life, though. Mm. 
boy built that. All us would be some billionaires around this piece. I'm rich in spirit. You rich in spirit? Yeah. Ooh, wait, give me some of that spirit. If I continue to be rich in spirit, it's going to manifest to reality. For sure, for sure, for sure. I feel that, I feel that. I'm just sitting down and chopping it up, having a conversation with two beautiful young ladies out of the Ville, Cashville, Tennessee, baby. Well, not everybody Cashville. represents Nashville, but this is where we at. This is the location. So, hey, y'all live here, so I'm saying represent. And if don't nobody like y'all represent, they should have stepped the hell up and been on the podcast instead of y'all. But nonetheless, I'm sitting here with two gorgeous women and we just chopping it up talking about um you know the differences between how men and women think you know what i'm saying responsibilities and everything uh and people we ain't gonna say no names unless somebody want to get themselves a shout out shout out their social media tags all that run your followers up you know what i'm saying who knows get you, might, might get you a media deal out of the, out of the whole situation uh don't get it. Don't get it twisted. We can make something happen for you. Let me see. Let me see. Let me Real see, talk. Let me see, let me see. But uh, I, what you over there mumbling about? You if, working? If 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 you want to follow me, you can find me on Instagram as Lady Red or Nicole Hicks. You heard? That's my little sister too. Just in case y'all didn't know. All right. Hey y'all, so y'all tell me what y'all think about the episode, man. Join the conversation, man. Y'all know the links, man. Hit them links up, man, and y'all check in. Y'all check in. Or drop me a motherfucking message in the IG, in the DMs, or message on Facebook, either or, or hit that email, uh, unveil underscore Apple gmail.com y'all hit me up man tell me what you think I'm gonna put your feet, feedback and input in man play that shit nigga play that shit yo 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 what's up what's happening it's your boy yeah. Abu A.B. Yeah. your Amir Williams chicken in man yeah. host of Unveil yeah. with Abu Amir you dig yeah. what I'm saying yo thank you for checking in boy. checking in with me baby you know what I'm saying um, those of you who are regular listeners and followers of the show, man, I really do appreciate you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? For your um, regular uh, listens and streams and so forth and so on. Uh, appreciate your support, man. I want to give big shout out to Diva Dogs, uh, White Tea Chilling, and uh, uh, Big Boot Records, as well as 615 Nightlife, man. Definitely last but not least, 615 Nightlife. You know what I'm saying? For all the support that I'm getting from you guys, man. I really do appreciate, man. The bill, the bill is really, um, you know, stepping up and giving me a little support, man. I really do appreciate that from you guys, man. Um, more than you ever would know. You dig what I'm saying? But yo, check it out. First, first, first video of the show. We trying to uh, move on from not just the audio but as well as the video man we're trying to gear up for what's coming up next man on this wave with anchor you know what i'm saying they are uh, gearing up for a little bit of uh, video content as well man and that's right up my alley if you know what i'm saying um if you dig what i'm saying because i've been um talking about that a lot here lately trying to make that happen man and make that move but you know what i'm saying uh unveil out here trying to do some big things for y'all man and get these stories told you dig what i'm saying and lift the uh lift the veil off the falsehood man that uh hinders and and, and uh, have become crutches in our lives as well as tell black stories and uplift black voices man this is straight talk raw uncut unedited you dig what i'm saying straight to the point man we ain't gonna play with it and we ain't gonna play with no feelings man you know what i'm saying shit if your feelings get hurt man you need to get some tough skin man or maybe take a look a uh, deeper look inside you dig what i'm saying um but yo check it so you know today got up this morning man was doing a little uh 
social media surfing, you know what I'm saying, a little promos. We was about to gear up for a little promos and kind of got uh, sidetracked, disrupted. My day kind of got a little disrupted. Uh, it was a question in the group, you know what I'm saying, about some, um, uh, the last rap album that you listened to with no skips. And so, you know, me being a music lover and uh, not only just loving the music but or the individuals, but loving the craft and the artistry behind it, you know what I'm saying? I chimed in and, you know, I gave the last three that I listened to without skipping, which was, whether you like it or not, Certified Lover Boy. Um, all of these were recent. Um, Gangsta's Pain, Reloaded and uh meek mills uh expensive pain you know what i'm saying and i checked them all out because i wanted to see what the brothers were talking about i wanted to hear the messages that they were dropping you know and if you know me you know i really uh wasn't exactly what you would call the biggest drake fan but listening to the album this time and not allowing my mind to be clouded by my opinion i listened to the work and um, I'm highly impressed. You know what I'm saying? I was highly impressed by the work. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, not just the features, not just the uh, hot tracks or anything of that nature, but I was impressed by the work that the brother put in because I listened to the music and I listened to the artistry. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, Mills, bad, y'all always impress me. You dig what I'm saying? I'm big fans, you know, and I have been fans, shit bag. I've been a fan since Elo. You dig what I'm saying? When it was raw, real raw. You dig what I'm saying? And um, I knew then, back then, that you was up next. They played with you and slept on you, but I knew. I knew what was up. But anyhow, let me get back to the point because I'm uh, kind of get myself time, man. I'm going to drop this thing for five minutes, man. It's a little bit of family conversation for y'all. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, but... I had some individuals that laughed at the the uh, choices that I had placed. You dig what I'm saying? And um, so I asked why. One of them said that um, he felt like that the uh, certified lover boy was corny. Okay, cool. That's your opinion. You dig what I'm saying? And I didn't shit on your opinion to make my myself feel better or to make my opinion uh, seem more superior. And then this individual didn't even have an opinion. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, the individual who asked the question turned back around and he said that um, showing by my choices, it lets me know that, um, you know, what I felt or thought was a classic. Now, mind you, I told you that the, um, the question was last rap album that you listened to with no skips. Now, if we were talking about true hip-hop, you're talking about classics and true hip-hop, then that should have been the question. You should have clarified. But, you know, some people be stupid like that. They don't look at even the shit that they even say out their own mouth, you know what I'm saying, to clarify the reason why somebody responded the way they responded. And then, you know, you, you, you get into this gang-like mentality to uh make your choices feel superior so a lot of people had a whole bunch of uh old school hip-hop albums you know what i'm saying clb smooth uh he had some freddie gibbs and shit like that you know what i'm saying that uh you know a lot of motherfuckers from the south really didn't give a fuck or ever heard of you know what i'm saying but we ain't gonna go there because i ain't gonna disrespect the craft or the forefathers in the craft you know what i'm saying but um you know motherfuckers be always trying to uplift themselves or to make their opinions or their um uh the things that they have going on in life superior over whatever it is that you have going on and they'll do such by trying to do, to demean or diminish or to belittle i want to tell you something about a hater Because an individual who does that can't be nothing but a hater. I don't give a fuck what their position in is in life. Where they may be in life. It could be a fucking CEO of a Fortune 500 company.